I, the way I frequently talk about that is I'll say brains don't wave because it's a popularization that really um, a, a, occludes, it, it covers over the reality. Brains are combinations or collection, if you will, of oscillators. And that means they, they pulse, basically, the different aspects of the brain, the, the actual structures, if you will. So it's just a pulse. It's like a quasar in, in outer space, where you'll see this very time-bound, here's a pulse, here's a pulse, here's a pulse. And quasars each have their own uh, pulse frequency. So uh, thalamus is a good example. The thalamic pacemaker circuit, if you will, it, it's, a, it's a cycle two oscillator that oscillates between 7 and 12 hertz. But if you read the traditional literature, they'll say, well, you know, it, 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 it pulses or it oscillates in the range of 7 to 12, as if, well, one day it's at 10, another day it's at 9. That's not at all what happens. Instead, basically, it's bimodal. It's either 7-ish hertz or it's 12-ish hertz. And it's a period doubling process. So there comes a bifurcation between those two. They have different impacts throughout the system. And there's actually good evidence that the real foundation of all of neurofeedback is training the thalamic pacemaker. And that's one of the reasons why sleep comes so quickly. So mm -hmm. are you talking about the, the thalamus like region of the brain? I'm talking about the thalamus itself mm -hmm. and okay. then the rest of the aspects of the central nervous system that respond to it dynamically. So that if it's pacemaking at seven hertz, so seven, seven pulses a second, you could think of it as it's not quite right because there are no integers really in nature. So it's probably more like 7.12 or who knows, right? But if it's pulsing at seven, that has a different impact throughout the entire system than if it's pulsing at 12. And without getting into all the minutia of that, the, the real point of it is that to think that there are individual frequencies like alpha frequency, theta frequency, or delta frequency, or beta is completely inaccurate. All that, the, all that we get at the scalp is voltage 